else are what you and I call cyanides. So the cyano group, just to remind you, there's a triple bond between the carbon and the nitrogen. So this is the first reaction that I showed you uh, a long time ago, that we could hydrolyze the nitrile all the way to the carboxylic acid under acidic conditions, remember the high heat that you need, this is mostly an industrial process. If you wanted to do it in lab, you first do the basic hydrolysis because this basic hydrolysis doesn't require the high heat. It's just a, a gentle reflux. And then, of course, if you have base, you're going to have to neutralize it right here. So this is a much better way for academia. This is a much better way for an industry where they can keep everything under control, any any bad things under control. But I just want to do a little bit of the mechanism. I do like this mechanism a lot. Okay, I'm going to show the triple bond between the carbon and the nitrogen. And we're going to do the reaction. Let's just do it under acidic conditions. The mechanism doesn't change all that much. But under acidic conditions, the first thing that's going to happen is that we're going to protonate the nitrogen of my nitrile and now the water is going to attack. The water is going to attack the carbon of the nitrile and we're going to break the triple bond and we're going to give the electrons to the most electronegative element which in this particular case is the nitrogen. Now I have a double bond between the carbon and the nitrogen and I have I attacked with a water molecule, so you remember when you attack with water or alcohols, the mechanisms seem really long because I have a lot of protonation and deprotonation steps. So let's just deprotonate my oxygen. Remember, minus a proton. So I have plenty of water. Have more water come and grab the proton we don't need anymore. Now I have an OH right here. All right. Oh, I should have made a little bond. Can you make the bond between the oxygen and the hydrogen? Because what's going to happen now? Well, it's okay. I have time. We're going to protonate. Remember, a lot of protonation, deprotonations. We're going to protonate the nitrogen. So we're going to add a proton. I have plenty of acid. So the nitrogen at the very top is going to get protonated. And now I'm going to come over here, okay? Two. It's a positive nitrogen. And now I am going to show the bond between the oxygen and the hydrogen. Because we're almost there. Almost there. Alright. Notice that we get a carboxylic acid out of this. We're going to lose a proton and we're going to use the lone pair to form a carbonyl. And give the electrons to the nitrogen. What is that going to get us? That's going to get us. I'm sorry, I moved the paper. It's going to get us an amide intermediate. And now the amide, we already know this mechanism. The amide will react with more water, and it's going to get you the carboxylic acid. So isn't that a nifty little reaction? Which I will require you know the mechanism to. Alright, remember acidic conditions you need really high heat. Basic conditions is a more gentle way but you need a neutralization step as a second step. Alright, this is a nice reaction right here. I need you to remember this reaction because it's, again, it's another one of my favorites. I have far too many favorite reactions. Let's take another nitrile. Remember, I have that triple bond between the carbon and the nitrogen. And when we add a green yard to the cyanide, I'm going to use 
phenyl magnesium bromide. Remember you add the green yarn first and then you quench the reaction. We are going to get a ketone out of it. So the carbonyl is going to be the carbon of the carbonyl, uh, the carbon of the nitrile, and we are going to be adding water to it. That is wrong. That is so wrong. I'm so sorry. We're going to get the fennel ring right there. I apologize for that mistake. Now, I'm going to do the mechanism so that we have to apologize so much. All right. The green yarn is a really good nucleophile. So I don't need to activate my nitrile. So I'm going to have my green yarn attack my carbon. It's going to attack the carbon. We're going to break the triple bond. And we are going to get a double bond between the carbon and the nitrogen. And we just added a nice phenyl ring to the carbon. Now this right here, notice that I have a carbon-nitrogen double bond. The nitrogen is negative, so this is an anion, but it's the anion of an imine. And what do we know about imines? Well, we know that if you take an imine and you hydrolyze it, you get the carbonyl back. So this reaction is actually very handy when you have, when you're doing synthesis, because you can put a cyanide, you and I know how to put a cyanide anywhere, and once you have the cyanide in one reaction, you can make it into a ketone. So make sure that you remember this reaction right here. This is the last slide. All right, I have a cyanide and dibol. What do you think dibol is going to get you? You don't know what dibol is going to get you? Dibol gets you aldehydes, doesn't it? So this one is no different from any of the other derivatives of carboxylic acids. So if you take a nitrile and you add dibol to it, you're going to get an aldehyde out of it. We're used to that one. Now this one hinges on the triple bond between the carbon and the nitrogen. So what we're doing is adding hydrogen to that triple bond, the same way we added hydrogen to the double bonded carbons and to the triple bonded carbons. The only difference is that now I have a carbon-nitrogen triple bond. But we're going to add two equivalents of hydrogen gas. And this is nothing more than just CH2. NH2, so this is a good way of making primary amines. Oh! All right, so remember, dibol gets you the aldehyde, uh, hydrogenation will get you this. One more, because I cannot help myself. This reaction can also be done with lithium aluminum hydride. And lithium aluminum hydride, remember, is a two step process. You add the lithium aluminum hydride with a syringe that has no moisture whatsoever, and then you quench the reaction. All right, this is the end of the second part. I hope you enjoyed it. You can rewind me, you can mute me, you can do whatever you want. Just make sure that you know everything that's in this lecture.